Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, Windows channel and this is a quick video to talk about the known issues and what's fixed in the build of Windows 10 Insider um, build 15002. So first I'm going to tell you about my own issues. My own issues are that sometimes the uh, start button and the action center stop working so when I click um, it it doesn't do anything now it does you see it open but it opened with like really grayed out stuff that I can't use so it's, it's very weird there's some weird actions there's some weird things happening with uh, this uh, build that hopefully will be fixed eventually uh, also um, I've been having some screen blinking probably some uh, driver issue for the display so uh, there are some issues here I can tell you that if you are using this build and have problems um, I'm having problems too. Uh, what's fixed 3D Builder app has been moved to the Windows accessories folder and start. Fixed issues where the display brightness keys on some device weren't working. Fixed an issue where the display may stack may, uh, may stay black after resuming from sleep if a USB, USB display is connected. Fixed issue where opening an app that uses camera, such as a camera app, could sometimes result in a bug check or a blue screen also. Fixed a crash in uh, some services uh, that made critical process died. Uh, fixed issue with touch keyboard, sometimes requiring multiple clicks to invoke a non-touch PC. We fixed uh, issue with disk cleanup, sometimes unexpectedly showed 3.99 terabyte word of Windows Update cleanup files. Uh, we've updated our logic so if the Microsoft Edge window is narrow and Cortana has a tip, Cortana will only appear uh, as an icon in the address bar. If you expand the window, you'll see the suggestion as before. Updated tool tips for Microsoft Edge, favorite bar. Uh, fixed issue where the touchpad settings via page, via settings, device, touchpad wasn't displaying an icon. You fixed an issue that may result in a recent drop in Action Center reliability for insiders. Uh, it seems that it's still there. Uh, they haven't fixed it really. Updated the speaker properties dialog to allow you to configure spas spatial audio in different endpoints. Made some tweaks in the back end for uh, how users connect to devices and mirror cast to other devices. Removed the uh, rerouting of uh, MS Paint DXE to Paint 3D. Fixed an issue insiders may have experienced on recent builds where navigating to OneDrive folders unexpectedly resulted in a pop-up saying catastrophic error. Visual Studio would crash. They fixed an issue there. Fixed issue where some insiders using PCs with certain older chipsets from seeing colored boxes in the place of text in um, Universal Windows platform apps. Uh, when you use Miracast to a device that supports input, for example, um, Action Text Screen Beam or Miracast Enable Windows 10 PCs, you will now see a toast notification to help you enable input. We fixed an issue where OM and AND keys were unexpectedly not working and fixed issue that could cause some progress indicators in Universal Windows Platform apps to appear to wobble or glitch. Um, and of course, that happened on Edge also. There are some known issues. The first one, don't plug an external display. I've had that and I've had a lot of problems with it. I also have a glitch with the start menu not always opening up. Now it is. And mostly the action center not always working correctly. Uh, so you see here, it, it, the buttons are gone now. So it's very weird what's happening with this build here. Um, opening battery settings. In system battery will crash the settings app. Option to enable virtual touchpad is missing. Cortana's cross device scenarios won't work on this build. Some websites in Edge may unexpectedly show we can't reach this page. Uh, so um, you can actually try accessing it from in private tab. Dragging apps from all apps list to pin as a start title grid won't work. Um, so right click and select the desired option. Control C to copy and command prompt won't work. When projecting to a secondary monitor, that's what I had, would um, do a explorer.exe crash and you're in the loop and you get this little uh, turning icon. 
touch keyboard button may be unexpectedly missing from the taskbar. You may see an error from Windows uh, Hello saying couldn't turn on camera on the lock screen. Brightness changes made via settings system display will unexpectedly revert after closing the settings app. So um, you will have some of the things reset back to normal. Uh, surface dial, if you, of course, that's for those using the dial, has some uh, problems with the settings. Netflix app may display a black screen rather than the expected video content. As a workaround, you can use Edge to watch your video content from Netflix web page directly. Miracast sessions will fail to connect. Uh, certain hardware types, Acer Aspire, the Netflix app crashes when starting a movie. Uh, Third-party Universal Windows Platform apps would crash on devices in the DPI settings on the machine set more than 150%.